Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today is day 10 of 3D Printmas. Now for day 10, I decided to create an entry into the 3D Block Zoo. And if you're wondering what the 3D Block Zoo is, head over to Twitter and search the hashtag 3D Block Zoo. I believe the whole thing was started by Heather, who um, with her husband have a YouTube channel called Apyro Design. I'll put a link in the description. You should definitely check out their channel. They make a ton of amazing logos. And it was also picked up and built upon by uh, SparkyFace5, who also has a YouTube channel. Link in the description. You should definitely check her out. And they basically challenged everyone to create one of these block animals. Now, the concept is really simple and I love it. You basically just take a block and then start modeling an animal. And the point is not to make it look realistic or anything like that. The point is really just to have fun, make something that's kind of cute, block shaped, um, and looks like an animal. So I've actually done three entries into this. And the first one I'm gonna show off is a stingray. And now you can see that the main body is basically a block. I rounded the edges, put on a tail, kind of angled the tops of it a little bit, and um, busted out a few eyes right there. Now, the reason that I love this 3D Block Zoo stuff so much is that it's a great way for people who are maybe thinking about starting to design their own um, 3D models to 3D print. It's a great way for them to just jump in and start doing it because it is so simple. There's not really any, any expectations on how it should look. So it's a great way for new people to get started. And obviously I've been modeling for a while and I'm very comfortable modeling. So in the spirit of trying to learn something new with 3D Block Zoo, I decided to paint this myself. I'll actually be painting all three of the Block Zoo entries myself. And this was probably a bad one to start with because my wife did the base coats with her airbrush just because that's a so much cleaner way of getting it on here. So that really only left the eyeballs for me to paint, but don't worry, I found a way to screw those up. But I'll get into that in a second. So first off, let's talk about the design. I used Fusion 360, um, but I've noticed a lot of people are using Tinkercad, and that's a great place to start. Um, but it really doesn't matter what software you use, just get in and do it is the real point. So I used Fusion 360, and um, I just basically created the shape with the sketch. I just created a diamond shape which is the block, and then the tail shape right here. And then I extruded those up, and I angled the tail ever so slightly, and then I cut the body into four pieces and angled those so you can see there's kind of a point in the middle. And I didn't really think about it, but that's a really bad way to angle things, is just that really gradual slope. Because if you don't turn on a really fine layer height, you'll be able to see the lines exactly where the layers are. So the first one that came out of the printer looked like a weird diamond kaleidoscope thing, and I really didn't like that. Um, so I actually ended up going down to 0.05 millimeter layer height on my DaVinci 1.0 Pro for this one. And I think that actually came out pretty well. You can't see the layer lines or anything. Then my wife just airbrushed it. I didn't even have her do any sanding or anything like that. And then while she was painting some of these other models, I went in with some paint brushes, painted the white around the eye there, and then the black for the pupil. And I just did that with a paintbrush and acrylic paint and a not very steady hand, as you can see. But I feel like that was kind of the spirit of these things, is to get in and practice a skill that um, you've been wanting to learn and maybe aren't the best at, and painting is definitely that skill for me. Okay guys, well if you want to print one of these for yourself, the files are down in the description. Definitely go check out Twitter with the hashtag 3 dblockzoo There are a ton of different designers that have uploaded models, ton of different animals, and they're all really cute. They all have their own charm to them. So check those out, and then I challenge you guys to create one of these yourself. If you've been wanting to get into modeling or maybe just don't know what to do, or um, can't think of anything that's simple enough to really get started, this is the perfect way to get going. So a huge thanks to everyone who's kind of spearheaded this and got the ball rolling on Twitter. I absolutely love the idea. This is submission number one. I got two more coming before Printmas is over. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that, and thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.